Hey guys, in this video we're going to create this dashboard from scratch using Figma. And just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently have a discount on my Figma course, so feel free to check it out if you're interested in learning more about Figma. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're back in Figma and the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a frame. So let's go under the desktop presets and we're going to select 1440 pixels of width. And at this point, we're going to double click on the frame name. We're going to rename it to one. Now, one more thing that we want to do is to round up the corners so that we already have this uh, user friendly feeling to the app. And uh, we're also going to add a drop down just for the fun of it in order to visually differentiate it from the background. And we're going to make it very light maybe around uh, 10%. We're also going to give it uh, a little bit of uh, a Y um, uh, direction, meaning that uh, we want it to be a little bit more towards the bottom section. So at this point, we're going to create uh, the three main uh, menu options. So let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, just create this uh, first rectangle and uh, then we're going to simply click on uh, Ctrl C and uh, Ctrl V or Command C and Command V and uh, we're going to duplicate both of these. Now <clears throat> we're going to make them white and the reason being uh, is that we're going to change the background of the frame. So let's go under fill we're going to select the background similar to this one right here, but we're probably going to make it just a little bit uh, lighter and uh, less, uh, give it just a little bit less uh, um, hue and tonality. All right, so at this point, I think we have our base going. I'll probably make this uh, uh, a little bit uh, uh, more wide and I'm going to duplicate it one more time in order to start to get the main structure of this uh, dashboard. So let's increase the width. Let's bring this one over here. I'm going to duplicate it. So we can already see from a high level what uh, this uh, is going to entail. Let's duplicate this uh, again. Let's uh, make the width and let's adjust it. Okay, so we're going to bring this one down here. We're going to bring this one here. And uh, this is going to allow us to see from a high level if uh, all of the main building blocks that uh, we are creating are working or if we need uh, some uh, refinements because it's always good to work high level first and then going to the details of the project. All right, now that we have uh, our base going, I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to group them together and I'm also going to lock them so that uh, I can easily work on the actual project without having to worry about uh, the details. All right, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to create uh, three dots which are going to symbolize the um, close options as well as uh, the other options which we have usually at disposal. We're working on an app or actually when we're using an app and uh, this will do. All right. Now let's uh, continue and uh, let's uh, create uh, a logo for this. So here's going to be the main logo. I'm going to use a stroke for this. Let's increase the stroke size. And uh, maybe let's make it just a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to create uh, a search field. Let's bring it up here. Let's bring it here. Let's increase the radius. 
Now at this point, as we're working on the search field, I'm actually going to use the same color as uh, the one below. And I'm probably going to make it just a little bit bigger in the size. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Nucleo icons in order to find a search icon. And I'm probably going to use something like around these lines. And by the way, this is a reminder of a that uh, this is a dashboard, which uh, is um, uh, taken uh, inspiration from a dashboard uh, from UI8 which uh, recently launched it's a uh, dashboard website website builder I'm going to leave the link and uh, if you want to check out the full project because it's really interesting one uh, it's literally a dashboard that you can drag and drop so uh, and uh, literally create uh, uh, dashboards in a very fast way so really cool project uh, um, really like this dashboard so check it out on ui8 and uh, now let's uh, over here we're going to go with Lato which is a free Google web fund if you've been following the channel for a while you know that uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Lato I really like this uh, this font overall and I think it suits uh, well a range of uh, UI uh, design related projects all right let's make this one smaller let's bring it over here And here we go. I'm going to use uh, the command icon, which uh, I'm not sure if you're, I'm going to find here. Yes, I am. A lot to always have you covered. And uh, <clears throat> let's make it smaller. I'm actually going to make this. Uh, both black all right probably make this one bold cool so we have our search field right here and the uh, now one thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're actually going to go ahead uh, and uh, create uh, the button that allows us uh, to basically create a new section in this app so we're going to select uh, our main uh, blue color which uh, might as well be this let's make this one bold i'm going to Go ahead and uh, create a plus. I'm probably going to, um, I could convert it. Um, let's make it outline stroke. Yeah. So as you can see, you can uh, create, a, you can convert it to an outline. And uh, this is going to help you out essentially to um, just have uh, this uh, individual uh, element not as a text field but as, a, as, a, as an icon so that's going to help uh, just edit it and you know work, work your way around anything that you might want to do and we're going to bring it here might as well create a, a component out of it let's rename it to button and uh, might as well add all of these the components outside. And here we go. All right. I'm going to write message. I'm going to find a message icon. So let's do something different. Let's do one of these. So let's do one of these. Center it. Let's increase the size. I'm going to add a notification right here. So I'm going to use the same color. 
as this one. All right, and we have our good old notifications. Trying to select this small part, and here we go. All right. Perfect. So I would say we have our top level section. Just need to add a profile picture. So let's bring this one here. And let's add the profile picture here on the right. I'm going to go ahead, use content reel. I'm going to go under image. And I'm going to use uh, an image which is neutral in color. So maybe something like that. Uh, maybe let's try one which is even more, more white, clean. Yeah, th this I think looks um, looks really well, also in considering the colors. So we're simply going to leave it there. And uh, yeah, this is starting to take shape. And uh, now we're going to move on to the side menus. So for the side menus, I'm going to grab uh, these elements right here, just to have a base to work on. Probably going to make it just a little bit bigger. And uh, I'm also going to add uh, an arrow on the right. So probably let's go with the cliff. Just to find somewhat uh, of some uh, bulkier options, if you wish. Let's increase the size of this. Let's bring these all the way to the right. This one's going to be home. We're going to make these uh, bold. Right, we're going to find the icons in just a moment. But for the time being, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this. And just a few times, we're going to add uh, in different labels. make these guys just like a bit smaller but let's fix the proportions very important and now let's write uh, some text and find the right uh, icons for each and every one of those um, elements so let's find a basic icon for the house, maybe let, um, yeah, now let's go, let's go with something, uh, something like that. We're going to write product. We need to find icons which not only match in style, but need to, <clears throat> they need to match uh, in uh, when it comes uh, to the actual um, stroke size and you know we, we can refine that later but it's always important to and like figure out uh, some of those elements uh, beforehand so we're going to have customers so let's try and search for users and we're going to write shop And that's going to be, let's go with the, with the dollars. And for the promotion, let's write team promote. Uh, 
Now what we're gonna do, since uh, all of these icons are basically like makes them match the, and as you can see the moment that I bring them uh, above, I think I have like an issue with the RAM or something, but essentially very easy way to overcome that is you find uh, a similar width that works for each and every one of these. Let's increase it. Probably it's going to be somewhere around the lines of 27, but as you can see, different icons have different strokes. So what we need to do is to unframe them. And then the stroke, make it um, one which is universal. So let's go with 2.5, center all of this. And here we go. Let's bring this one here. All right. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to use the same color here. I'm going to delete all of these guys. Let's bring all of these icons on the side menus. All right, we're going to make this one the selected one. Select, select, and then we're going to basically create a duplicate of this rectangle. We're going to bring it right over here. We're going to bring this guy more, or actually let's delete it all together. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this is gonna work. Let's just bring this one a little bit more on the on the right. We're going to simply make these uh, arrows go more towards the left to compensate visually. And uh, we are pretty much sorted. All right. So at this point, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to have a section below, which is essentially going to be a help and getting started section. And uh, we're also going to have a divider line. And we're going to create the line here above. Let's bring it all the way down and let's uh, use a color such as that one. Let's make it just a little bit more dark. Let's search for a help icon. Maybe this one's gonna work. <laughs> let's increase the size just a little bit. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a, almost like a tag option. Let's bring this one below, all the way down. We're going to just make it all the way rounded. We're going to make it white and Color-wise, let's try this one. Um, not too sure about it. I don't want as much visual emphasis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the eight of this color and this one is going to be turned down to 10% opacity. Let's bring this one here and uh, let's uh, just bring it a little bit above, so we can also have uh, a, a logout uh, option. We're going to write in exit. We're going to find uh, the option right away. Okay, perfect. So at this point, what we're gonna do is uh, going to increase this size just a bit. 
I'm going to make this uh, a stroke of two. Let's bring this one up. And uh, let's see how this looks uh, in context. It's always really important. Um, probably going to change the color of this one to a blue. Don't want as much visual emphasis on uh, the number eight. They do want this uh, to be a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much there. Now let's bring this text over here. Let's write in dashboard. Let's increase the size quite a bit. And I think we're at a good point. Now, one thing that I noticed that uh, I didn't do earlier, but we can definitely do it now, is to simply select those layers that we locked initially, the background layers. And I'm going to go ahead and select all of these four guys and, in, and add a little bit of a border radius so that it's going to look more user-friendly overall. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the overview text. We're going to start building up this section right here. <clears throat> so as a start, uh, actually, let's make this one even smaller. We're going to grab this element right here. I'm going to write in all time. And we're going to bring it here on the left. Let's bring this one all the way here. And let's uh, grab one of these icons of the arrows. And we're going to basically snap it over here. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, here we go. Let's group it all together. Let's bring it here on the right. And we're pretty much good to go and continue. So I'm going to bring this rectangle right here. Let's increase the size. And let's create a, a smaller version of this. Let's make a white. Let's reduce uh, its uh, size. And uh, this overall is working uh, quite well. We're also going to have some, uh, um, some ovals right here. So let's make a hundred by 100. This is going to make sense in, in just a moment. And let's add uh, text uh, with the same property. So I'm using option command C in order to copy the style, then option command V in order to paste it. And let's uh, duplicate this a few times. All right. So we're going to go over here and we're going to start uh, dragging and dropping uh, <coughs> these text components. I'm going to bring them all the way up. I'm going to write in customers and uh, bring this element right here. I'm also going to go ahead and add uh, this text and I'm going to add a value. Let's make this uh, even bigger.
and uh, here we go. All right, Let's say this is moving on pretty well. Now at this point, what we're gonna do next, uh, apart from making it just a touch smaller, is going to be using this tag that we already created. And I'm going to bring it here on the very top. Also going to just make the um, corner radius a little bit less uh, rounded. Let's say 8%. I'm going to center it. Let's bring this one like that. And uh, I'm going to give it a positive value. And uh, that's that. All right. So far, so good. And what I'm going to do next is I'm simply going to remove this altogether. I'm going to write in income. Let's add a big value. Bring this one here on the right. And probably let's change it to a white background so that we can have further contrast. All right. Now let's uh, go on and let's uh, fill up this uh, section right here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just duplicate this text which was duplicated over here, that's totally fine. <clears throat> Let's uh, add a little bit of a bold indentation here. I'm going to write some uh, other names. Let's also add some, some surnames. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into content reel and we're going to add some images. Let's select them. Um, for some reason, I wanted to see all of them. Yeah, that's uh, essentially what I wanted to do. Now let's add some uh, white uh, background uh, images or, or at least uh, some light uh, background images. Um, this one. Let's try this one. Maybe this one is even more clean. So I'm kind of looking at uh, images which uh, overall look clean in their composition and that the colors don't distract too much. So as you can see, these two are quite dark. And uh, although the image itself is uh, really good looking, I think that uh, you might want to check out some uh, alternatives to that. And uh, even these ones are looking more, these ones are looking a little bit too alike. This one looks like a fashion icon, so probably let's change it with uh, something, with one which is a bit more um, neat and professional. This one, yeah, that'll work. All right, so we have our basic, uh, uh, section of the gallery 
And uh, now what I'm gonna try and do is I'm going to add some dividers in between. Let's try and copy and paste the style of this line icon item. And use command D. All right. Perfect. So now let's uh, move on to the next section. Popular products. And I'm going to add uh, over here basically some uh, text elements. Products. And then earnings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this guy, bring it here, call it product A. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just create a rectangle right here. Round it up, bring the text on the right. And uh, probably going to have uh, some uh, um, reference to the earnings. Let's write in a value. And let's also add one of these divider lines. All right, I'm going to group it together, duplicate it just a few times. Products. And the stroke of this color. Let's bring this up a bit. All right. Now at this point, so we're going to change the values over here. And uh, what we're gonna do for the products uh, themselves is we're going to use uh, this uh, kit called uh, Blam, which is from LS Graphics, really good looking kit. For whatever reason, it's temporarily fixed. So let's go ahead, uh, let's bring this one, these two elements, also this one here. And feel free to use any um, any kit that you like or any icon, really. And uh, is this one loading up? Yep. Actually, <clears throat> let's select this one first. Let's copy the style. Let's paste it in. All right.
All right, perfect. <clears throat> so let's move on to the next section. Just going to be this one here. Let's write in comments and uh, we're going to just add a few different lines of text over here. I'm going to add a, <coughs> a date. Let's bring this one right on the on the right side. And over here we're going to write uh, small lips and text. Let's just delete everything that is not really relevant for the text itself. Let's make this regular, bring it down like that. And let's also add a divider line in between these two elements. All right, and uh, for the main graph, uh, we're actually going to uh, find uh, one of the previous ones, which from uh, one of the previous uh, videos. I'm going to paste it in. Yes, I think it works totally fine in this case as well. We're simply going to duplicate it, maybe change the color of these uh, elements that it reflects this current design better. We're simply going to duplicate these guys just like that. Let's write in the months. And then we have January again. Let's just tweak these just a little bit so that they are not identical in uh, to the other ones. And let's uh, go ahead and let's try and match uh, the left line. Okay, let's copy and paste this style as well. I'm going to stretch these guys just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to just, oops, make them smaller. And uh, here we go. All right, I think overall this is working out pretty well. <clears throat> Let's bring this one down. Right, let's bring these ones, let's distribute them vertically. Let's also have uh, one of these elements right here. And on top of that, we're going to add a filters option. That's because I wrote it incorrectly. And uh, yet, uh, let's go with something like, uh, like this one. All 
Right, so we managed to get to the end. Really hope this video was helpful. And I want to remind you that on my YouTube channel, <clears throat> you're going to find many other videos covering these type of tutorials. Also sharing my over eight or 10 years of experience in UI UX design. So really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next